Welcome back. Um, we are here together to round to the nearest unit. And I've explained before how we round. Eh? You've got a picture, a number line um, in front of you. Perhaps you want to draw one. And to the nearest unit. So I go to the correct place value. My unit is in this case a 6. And it either stays a 6 or it goes up to a 7 eh? when I'm rounding. And that always depends on the next number, which in this case my first decimal then. If it's a 5 or higher, the 6 will go up to a 7. If it's lower than a 5, the 6 will remain a 6. It doesn't go down to a 5. Eh? Alright, so 6.8. I'm not really interested in those other numbers, just the 8, which tells me that the 6 goes up to, uh, or to uh, 7. <coughs> Excuse me, so to the nearest unit, 6.82103 is 7. To the nearest unit, I go to the correct place value. The unit, that's my 2, that either stays a 2 or goes up to a 3, that depends on the next one. It's a 5, it's exactly in the middle, we say it goes up then, so to the nearest unit, it's going to be 13. 145.497 to the nearest unit, so that's my unit, 5, stays a 5 or goes up to a 6, that depends on the next one. And my first decimal point is a 4, which is lower than 5, so it's going to stay 145. 5 stays a 5. Finally, to the nearest unit, what is my unit? It's a 0. Now, it either stays 0 or it goes up to a 1. And that depends on the next number, which is a 5 or higher, because it's a 7. So the 0 becomes a 1. So these are four example questions of rounding to the nearest unit. I hope that was helpful. All the best.